What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan, Donovan, Donovan Sharp, Sharp, and welcome, and welcome to, the to the 375th fifth, fifth edition. edition of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. Um, I didn't do intro music. I'm not going to do intro music uh, when I do these uh, these Google Hangouts, uh, these Google Hangout style uh, podcasts because the intro music sounds fucking terrible. Uh, only when I go solo and I do, uh, you know, and I use OBS, uh, that's when that's when I'll do the intro music. Anyway, we are brought to you in part by 1821manmade.com, your one-stop shop for all of your beard grooming needs. To step up your beard game, look no further than 1821manmade.com. They are not the least expensive out there. They're not the cheapest, but they are the best. That's 1821manmade.com, your one-stop shop for all of your beard grooming needs. We are also brought to you by Happy Hippo Herbals home of the highest quality kratom on the planet. Happy Apple Kratom will elevate your mood, make you more productive, and make you absolutely fearless with girls. For a limited time, you will save 20% when you pay with Bitcoin. That includes your shipping, guys. So go to happyhippoherbals.com now and save 20% when you pay with Bitcoin. It's the purest kratom on the planet. Let's get right to it, man. Um... My special guest this evening, or tonight, is none other than Steve the Dean Williams. And Steve, we're going to talk about, what we're going to talk about is, will, will sex dolls replace women? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read you part of an article, and I want to get your reaction to this. Okay. Um, it was actually an article uh, on, the, uh, on the Telegraph, and it was published, uh, it was published actually a little over a year ago. And uh, it's by Tabby Jackson Gee. Of course, it's a woman. She says, quote, I was going to start this article about robots with a reference to Fritz's Lang- Fritz Lang's Metropolis. But then I spoke to Blay Whippy, a philosopher concerned with the social impact of emerging technologies and trivialization of robots in the media. And I decided otherwise. She continues, but when it comes to robots, it's simply no use discussing them through the lens of our favorite film or science f- fiction book. Cliché as it may be, the future is here. We can and should talk about reality. Within a matter of decades, we become entirely reliant on technology and robots are increasingly be- part of our daily lives. Now it is estimated, Steve, that realistic sex robots will become more common within a decade. She, she continues, there are currently four manufacturers making lifelike robotic dolls worldwide, but experts predict that in coming decades, they could become widespread, used not just as a fetish, but for sexual therapy and as companions for lonely, disabled, or or older people. It ends with this. Take Real Doll. The California-based company is unveiling a $15,000 life-size hyper-realistic silicone sex doll. She can talk, blink, smile, regurgitate facts about your life, and of course, have sex with you. Her name is Harmony, and she is being hailed as the most significant development thus far in the $30 billion sex tech industry. Steve, your thoughts. (laughs) Uh, uh, It'd be be in older people. I I can see that. Uh, If I was a businessman, Donovan, what I would do is I would buy a bunch of them and and sell them, uh, whore them out, you know, be a techno pimp. So, yeah. to speak. but um, from my standpoint, I, I I again, if you're in a wheelchair, like you say, if you're disabled or you're old, then I I see absolutely I wouldn't have any problems with that. But if you're a young guy this should be something I, I don't really see. I don't, I can't understand why somebody would want a robot when these women are giving pussy away like Halloween candy. And see, listen, this is the real issue, Steve. The fact that sex robots will be more commonplace. It's interesting that she talked about, she says it's going to be for, for lonely disabled or older people. Here's the thing, dude, disabled or older people there. listen, they're not the ones interested in the sex robots, the, the sex dolls. The ones that we're talking about are the lonely people. 
dude, listen, 99.9% of the market share in terms of sex dolls are concerned are going to be for lonely guys. The dudes, listen, the dudes buying these sex dolls, Steve, dude, they're in their late 20s, early 30s, 40s, guys who can't or won't go out and get pussy. What are your thoughts about guys who actually buy sex dolls? Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I, I guess I just I just can't understand that because uh, women will do not only what a sex doll will do, but more. So uh, I just think these guys are, are are cheating the game. And I mean, if they want to go out and get a sex doll, you know, that's their priority or their prerogative, excuse me. But I just can't understand how you would want to do that, knowing, like I said before, we are in a we are Donald, we are in a time right now where women are more aggressive and they're throwing it, they giving it's just like they're giving the pussy away. So I just can't see why you would even need a uh, a, a, a doll when you have the majority of women who are more the aggressors now than men. And and again, this is the thing, Steve. And this is why I wanted to have you on for this. To a guy like you, this is foreign, right? You're confused. You're like, why in the world is there even a market for sex dolls? Like, yeah. why is it that we have magazine articles telling us that sex dolls are going to be more commonplace in a decade? Yeah. We have people out here, Steve, who who really believe that in 20 years, sex dolls that sex dolls are going to replace actual women. And by the way, guys, uh, guys, give me a call if you want to weigh in on this conversation, 914-205-5356. Again, that is 914-205-5356. That's the number to call. Do you think sex dolls will replace women? Again, this is the reason I had you on, Steve, because... Wait a minute. Okay, never mind. This is the reason I had you on, Steve, because most men are most men are not like us. Most men are not like our audience, right? Our audience, and every once in a while, we'll get someone in here who says, "Listen, I'm gonna go MGTOW. Fucking with women is not. It, it's you know, it's it's not it's it's not worth the risk. The juice isn't worth the squeeze." But there are men out here. Listen, there is a prominent YouTuber by the name of Turd Flinging Monkey. Steve, this guy is nothing short of brilliance personified. This guy, um, uh, uh, DDJ was on the podcast with the Red Man Group a few a few weeks back. Uh, he wrote a book. I forgot what the, the book he wrote. He is as brilliant, if not more br brilliant than that guy. But Turd Flinging Monkey advertises and broadcasts the fact that he is in a relationship with sex with a sex doll by the name of Celestina. His Patreon page, he gets anime drawings done of his sex. He is proud of the fact that he is in a relationship with a sex doll. Now, I've been on record multiple times saying that, listen, man, if you've decided to check out of the dating market, it's not something I would do. Fucking a sex doll is not something I would do because, again, I'm, you know, you know, I listen, I'm, 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 I'm good at getting pussy. I'm good at getting women like, you know, and listen, it wasn't always that way. Right. Like I used to be a beta bitch boy extraordinaire back in the day. But of course, you find the red pill times change. You become a better person and voila. But Steve, there are a lot of guys out there, a lot more than you think, who are thinking about going down this path, man. And I'm listen, I'm telling you right now, dude, there are a lot of low there. Are, here's the thing, Steve. You might you might not even know this. There are more MGTOWs out here, low level MGTOWs out here who endorse the idea of having a relationship with a sex doll because it's too risky to have relations with with a woman. What say you? Well, when I when think, I think about, uh, the the low level, I guess you call them the the uh, I, I won't I, I call him another name, but I'll just call him the cult that's going away. Listen, a low level MGTOW is 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 an incel masquerading as a MGTOW. Well, okay, but this is okay. I mean, we talked about it. And I respect the fact that you, you know, we talked about family and legacy and, and you, you, as a man, you, you said that you didn't want to, and you don't feel like, and I can respect that as a man, because at any time you change your mind, Donovan, you can walk out that goddamn door or you're with your, you know, your girl and you can have a child because you, you can do that. You can talk to women. 
these guys are doing it to as as a as a crutch. See, it's it's a when people are doing stuff like that, there I I see that sometimes as fetishes, but because I'm always on my man mindset thing, I got to look at the get it. process. <laughs> I got to look at what you're thinking and no disrespect to turd flinging monkey, I guess his name. No disrespect to him, but I, I just, men don't behave in that fashion. Men don't, uh, men don't fuck plastic dolls. Now, you know, you could fuck plastic as the fake titties and fake, fake body type. Yeah, but guess what? That, it's got a heartbeat. <laughs> right. I mean, it's got a heartbeat. Right, it's, got a right. heartbeat. it's got a pulse. It's got a pulse. It, 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 it is just, it's, it's just another way that it's like this. Everybody's a winner mentality that we're in. Instead of uh, picking up and uh, going and learning and failing and and then growing from that, what these guys want to do is they want to try to cheat the game and say, okay, well, uh, I'll just sleep with a, a piece of plastic or, or a blow-up doll or what have you and call that my girl. I mean, if my son, like I say, if my son, well, it, it would be what son? But, <laughs> oh, my God any of my sons came to me and we had Christmas dinner and they walked in this door with a plastic doll and put that thing on my, I'd pop the doll, punch mm -hmm. him in his chest and tell him to get the F out. Okay, okay, okay. Tell him to get out of my house. Right. I, because as a man, I just can't, I, I can see the weakness in that. But if I say anything, it's going to sound really disrespectful. So I'm trying to keep it as respectful as possible because that's on some that's on some punk shit. I mean, punk, excuse me. It's just it's just not man it's stuff. On Patreon, you don't have to worry about that. That's oh, on Patreon. Well, okay, well, then it's some bitch ass shit then. Right. right. Yeah. That's what this is. Okay. The argument is right. And listen, I've seen internet memes that say you know it's got some you know ratchet ass hoe talking about oh you know uh, okay so you got a sex doll because she cook and clean and love you and the other guy says bitch you don't do that either right. That and and he, listen, this again. This is another tentacle of this discussion. Why is there a sex doll industry in the first place? Okay, well, the first thing I say, the, the guy that said, "Well, you don't do that either." Well, who the fuck are you for right. her to do that? You got that's the next question you got to ask that guy because if he's not a quote unquote Donovan Sharp, you're not going to get the Donovan Sharp rewards and gifts that come along with it. So that's one thing. But it, but again, to me, it, to me. It's more of a, a fetish or a teenage uh, thing when you think about blow-up dolls. You know, some kids who are trying to learn how to have sex and things like that, maybe they'll get a blow-up doll for that. Or they got little things like plastic boobs. I mean, I've got a plastic. I mean, I, I do it for my uh, videos, my training videos, but I've got a big plastic butt also, but it's for my training videos. I never had sex with it. But some of those guys do that. But again... If you are a healthy individual that can get out of your bed and walk around, you wouldn't need that. But, you know, some guys have fetishes, Donovan. Some guys, you know, use those. Um, I don't even know what they're called. They're like a, a flashlight, is it, or something? It's oh, a flashlight. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I can see that because they want to get that. I mean, that's something they want to do. No problem. But when you get into I'm dating her. I'm married or I'm having a relationship, then you're taking it way too far. Yeah. Um, William Freeze in the chat says, if guys want to smash a doll, let him. Yeah, listen, check this out, man. Man can do whatever he wants, right? Um, I'm not, listen, I'm not going to tell a man what he can or cannot do. What I am saying is that if you do fuck a sex doll and, and, and advertise, listen, if you, whatever you do in private, we're never going to know, right? But if you ed but if you outwardly admit that you are in a relationship with a sex doll, you are a fucking loser. Yes. So what William Freeze says what he's really saying. He said, if guys want to smash the sex doll, let them. OK, what he's really saying, if guys want to smash the sex doll, then don't make fun of him. No, fuck you. Fuck you, William. Right. If you're going to fuck a fucking silicone fucking doll, dude, fuck you with the sickest one, man. Like, dude, get the fuck out of here with that. Listen, 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 I understand why. And, and we'll get into this in a minute. I understand why there are a lot of guys who are going the sex doll route. It's not something I would do, but I get it. Women are as 
terrible as they've ever been in human history. They, I mean, they just have. They can't cook. They can't clean. They're not interested in having families. They fuck 367 guys before they finally decide to settle down. Their pussies are blown out, et cetera, et cetera, right? Well, for the average guy who's been told that women are made of sugar, spice, and everything nice, he gets out into the real world and, and, and sees that this isn't the case. He can't ever have a sexual relationship with a woman without getting his pound of flesh taken, or he's only having sexual relations with women who are in their 40s and blown out with three kids. Yeah. I under, and even then, even then, he probably still can't have sexual relationships with them because he doesn't have the right tools in terms of in terms of seduction. So I understand completely why guys would go that route. Not something I would do, but I get it. But when people come out and defend these dudes who fuck sex dolls, I'm like, oh, my God, dude, I'll let them fuck their sex dolls. But a guy like turd flinging monkey as brilliant as he is. Yeah, that's some bitch ass shit, dude. Like for serious. And the reason it's funny, I went after him, Steve, because he actually made fun of the fact that I fuck a woman with a pulse. You know, he said, well, listen, you can make fun of me for, you know, fucking my sex doll all you want to, but don't come crying to me when she sperm jacks you or divorce raped you. And I'm like, TFM, dude, you don't know shit about my situation, dude. Like, well, 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 and it's two things. The one that said we should uh, defend or we shouldn't be mean, you need to get your fucking ass off this show because this is a man's show. We ain't about no bitch shit. Second thing is, Donovan, is that uh, your name is Donovan Sharp. That's right. Your name, and, I, and, and everyone listening, his name is Donovan Sharp. You have a guy, and I repeat his name, Turd flinging what is it turd flinging turd monkey flinging monkey now th again it, uh, you can always tell a man stands on his name anybody that comes up with a name like turd flinging monkey is nothing but a soft bitch soft you can tell that he was either raised by his mother yep. or you could tell that even if he had his dad in his life dad was sleeping on the couch Dad was telling him, happy wife, happy life. And dad was telling him, this is the best thing you're going to do, which probably scared him into doing what he's doing now. But what, but I ask you, what man do you know is going to walk up to a woman and be like, hey, how you doing, girl? My name is Turd Fling and Monkey, girl. What's your name? I mean, come on, man. <laughs> um, ben Silverswig says, TFM, Turd Fling and Monkey is an incel. Yes. Here is the deal with Turd Fling and Monkey. And again, the reason I bring him up is because he's the example. He's the one guy out here that I know of who has a relationship with a sex doll and is unabashedly, he's not shy about it at all. Like he advertises it. Dude, like his sex doll's name is Celestina Monkey. Like he's given this thing a name. Celestina does not have a gender. Celestina is a thing. It is, it is silicone. It's whatever the fuck it is. And this guy, this guy, like he's got like a whole, like she's got her own, uh, she's got her own Twitter page. She's got her own, I think, um, her own uh, Patreon. It is like Steve. It is, it is unbelievable. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Men like turd flinging monkey exist, and actually, somebody just put it in the chat. I was actually going here next. Bruno D says, but Donovan, he can't compete. He can't pull or get girls, and I disagree. It's not that he can't. It's that he won't, okay? Involuntary celibate, celibates, incels don't have to be incels, okay? Again, we're, born, we're given faulty tools, and we're in a fucked up sexual climate, but there's the internet. You got guys like me, Steve, Rolo, Roosh, right? Dude, Rolo, dude, Rolo Tomasi, Anthony Johnson, Richard Cooper, there, dude, there are hundreds of guys out here. There's scores of information on the internet that tells you how to crack the code, how to crack the system. But because guys like Turd Flinging Monkey, see, guys like him, they want the cheat code. They want to, they, they want to be able to say, they want to be, they want to be able to know the exact lines to make her panties drop. He wants, he wants all of the benefits of a woman without any of the risk. Listen, fucking with women is risky. It's more risky now than ever. But that's his thing. He says the juice isn't worth the squeeze. But guess what, TFM? You still want the juice. You want to know why? Because you're trying to get the juice in the form of a fucking sex doll. Okay? Guys like him 
would have us believe that he could go out and get pussy if he wanted to, but he doesn't. He doesn't have time for that. The juice isn't worth the squeeze, so I don't want the juice. He can't, it's not that he can't compete. Is that It's that he won't compete. Every man can compete, Steve. What do you say about men who check out because they just think it's too hard, who won't compete? You are what you should be. You know, uh, uh, the reason I, I there's a few reasons I love this turd flinging monkey baboon guy, whatever the fuck his name is. The reason I love him is number one is what's going to be great is when he dies, his bloodline is going to end with him. So we don't have to worry about him producing any more silly ass motherfuckers who are doing more detriment to the society. Uh, number two, when you got guys like this, that that they just all about excuses. They, it's 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 so easy to to make an excuse. Yes, but it's so hard to get up off your ass and do something. You know, um, I was on uh with with Anthony uh yesterday. We were you know we were on the show. Yeah, a conversation between you two, by the yeah. way. And we were we were kind of like talking about power, and uh, you know, I, and I got this from the show Vikings and. Uh, uh, the Ragnar Lorfbrook said to his son, power is only given to those who are prepared to lower themselves to pick it up. And it, 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 and it gives, this is a prime example that it, being a man is something that you can pick up and can learn. Like you said, from gentlemen like yourself and Rolo and, and men like that, they can learn from that. Go to the 21 convention. They can learn from people to, to learn how to be men and understand what man is about. But the, the thing is now is that because of everybody's a winner, everybody gets a trophy. Uh, when you get scratched up, you get Neosporin in some soup or whatever it is. Right. These young men, like you said, have had this false sense of reality. And then when they step out into the real world, they cannot, their minds cannot line up to what's happening. So what they do is they go into their own little world and of, of weird weirdness and excuses. Yes. It's so easy to, to get a woman, but again, and you got to look at it. If you are, if you, your sex doll or your sex doll girlfriend has her own Twitter account, Donovan. Oh my God. It, it, there's, it, it goes beyond. It, 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 then at that point, there's a screw loose. There's something wrong there with that individual when they start doing shit like that, brother. Bruh. Um, Charles Merchant uh, in the chat says, I like the information that TFM brings to YouTube. I couldn't care or I could care less about his relationship with the doll. I know not to take da dating advice from him. That is a good view to have. Listen, Steve, if you ever listen to this guy again, listen, we're men. We have the ability to compartmentalize things, right? We know, listen, we know women are batshit crazy, but we can compartmentalize that yes. and regulate, mitigate certain things. If you can compartmentalize the fact that Turd Flinging Monkey absolutely has a screw loose for fucking a sex doll, broadcasting it, and bragging to men who fuck actual women, if you can compartmentalize that and actually listen to his message, the guy's a smart dude, man. Honestly, dude, honestly, he knows more about the history of feminism and the effects on a psychological level than, than I ever will, right? So Charles Merchant is absolutely correct in that, yeah, dude. TFM, listen, the, the information he brings is it's valuable. But again, but he said right at the end, I know not to take dating advice from him. Uh, we had another comment from Bruno D. He says, Steve, I like your style, bro, but you are a married man. You view the game through married lens. Never mind me. Roosh V is saying that the game, that game has changed. Women change. So basically what he's telling you, he tell, he's telling you, what a lot of people tell Rolo. Rolo, what could you possibly know about the game and a woman's true nature? No. You're married. You couldn't possibly know what you're talking about. What say you? Okay. Let, let me let me let me say something to, to him. First off, your problem, like the majority of what I call the 98% of you losers, is the fact that you worried about what the fuck is going on in my life instead of listening to the fucking message. You, you all are so busy worrying about the messenger you were so busy worrying about another man you, you have infield videos what proof do you have i need receipts right oh I, well hey if you go to my website you'll see the receipts right on you youtube you'll see all the women i pull just off the dating chat line although you if you go and do your research on me you'll see that i got receipts but that's here nor there but what you forget what you're not thinking is i'm not teaching you motherfuckers how to date women because women are a fucking perk i'm teaching you how to be a fucking man now, why me being married? Let's talk about that for a second, loser. <laughs> now we'll go back to Jerry Rice. 
Jerry Rice is one of the greatest wide receivers out there. Jerry Rice retired. So do you think if you throw a football to Jerry Rice, his instinct ain't going to do it? See, you guys think just because I'm married, motherfucker, um, as a man, I don't keep my sword sharp. I don't keep my ear to the ground and see what the fuck is going on. I've been doing this shit for over 25 fucking years, bitch. So don't tell me because I'm married. Because you know, hey, yeah, you're right. I am married. So you know what? Don't listen to me, motherfucker. Because you can't handle the shit that I have to say. My shit is for men, bro. Fucking men. Anytime, listen, anytime somebody uses in, you know, uh, what's his name? Bruno D. He's a he's a relatively new commenter. He's very, very, you know, uh, player for life. You know, I'm all about the game. Bitches ain't shit. I'm never going to get married to cohabitate. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, right? But again, he's a young guy, right? And and listen, th this is the thing, Steve. The way women are now, unless you have that ironclad, rock-solid game like you or me, that strong pimp ham, I wouldn't recommend getting married or, or cohabitating either. You're, we both live with other women, right? But guess what? Guess what? <laughs> the sword is still sharp, my friend. And oh, nobody disqualifies what the fuck I say because I'm in a long-term relationship. And Bruno D would do well to keep his mouth closed about the the qualifications uh, of guys who have been in the game longer than he's been alive. That's no, great too, Bruno. But, 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 but Donovan, that shows you what's going on. See, I, I talked to you about this earlier. See, the thing that, that make motherfuckers lose the game or not even understand the game is they so worried about what the other man is doing and not the message. And that is some feminine gay shit because I'm not here. If I was listening to you, Donovan Sharp, what does your relationship have to do with the words that are coming out of your mouth? What does what you eat or how you sleep or how you drive or where you live? What the fuck does that have to do with the information and that's the problem with these young motherfuckers they're so they then it is like this gayness they're like and so much in love and they want to know what what's going on with a man you thinking more of a fucking man than listening to the information and that's why you that's why you know what he shouldn't get married because as soon as he opens his fucking mouth a woman's gonna see weak bitch she's gonna run him she's gonna take him for his money and and i'm glad i hope she does that shit because you know what she's going to do? She's going to fuck someone like you, Donovan, while she complains about that motherfucker. Hey, Bro, he might even fuck me. Or listen to the rest of this episode. Go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.